And we're back. Audi engine. What is going on guys? I'm WatchJRGO and today we are here with the engine out of my 2011 Audi A6 that tried to drip, 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 pee on you yesterday. That's what, that's what happened. Is it an R. Kelly song? Yeah. <laughs> well, it could have been an R. Kelly song. <laughs> this, of course, is the 3OT with the supercharger hanging out up there and the possibly seized engine. But we're going to go ahead and try to... How are we going to turn that thing? There is not a great way to turn it. There's not a bolt head on a single pulley. But anyway, we're going to try to rotate this engine and it might rotate now that all that liquid came out of the exhaust. Then we just need to separate the transmission, which is why we need to be able to rotate the engine. So our game plan obviously is something, something transmission and something, something get the bolts out of the torque converter. There's not like an access panel or anything. So it would make sense that you go through the starter. Well, let's get right into it to the time lapse. Well, that went better than could be expected. Transmission came right off with the forklift. We got the angle right, and just slid it right out of the pump. Uh, the torque converter right out of the pump, that is, because there's nothing else we could do since obviously it's seized. Now we are able to turn this thing. Uh, we had to put one of the transmission bolts back in and then you put all your weight on this and we can get it to turn just a little bit at a time. So it's going and now we have three bolts to pull out of the converter and that's gonna take quite a while and our triple squares don't fit. So I just had to cut down one of my nice triple squares here down to this little size so we could get in there to the flywheel. Of course, when you do this, there's a notched recess in there that the triple square has to go inside of to get those bolts out. Ours were way too long to fit in there. Hopefully that fits now. At least it'll fit with a wrench if nothing else. I don't know about a socket. I feel like that might be asking a lot of it. You want to cut it off more? It's a little warm. Oh, I bet it's warm. I bet it's warm. <laughs> Will my custom tool blend? It's a pain to uh, cycle the wrench. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and it's a pain to break it loose. Yeah, they are tight. Wow. Oh. Do we need to put another wrench on the wrench? Uh, yeah. Triple <laughs> wrench. Triple the squares, triple the wrench. Triple everything on Audis. Three bolts, impossible to move. <laughs> I might need a fourth wrench to hold up on the back of the triple squares. So oh, I it, see. Keep it straight. Yeah. Hey, it moved. Nice. So anyway, that's what we'll be doing for the next 30 minutes. It took 30 minutes to do the whole main part and then 30 minutes to get these three bolts. We're setting the old Audi engine down on the pallet and uh, uh, uh. <laughs> forklift. That's, the That's the exact sound of your forklift running out of propane while you're using it. <laughs> so anyway, we were able to obviously lower it all the way down. We've got that engine sitting on the pallet, uh, ready to be cleaned up and used for a table eventually. So we went and got propane. We're back with a full bottle and we got our smart washer over here so we can wash some parts which is awesome. So we just got that all set up, cleaned, ready to go again with new fluid. And now it's time to do the engine switcheroo. So uh, back to the time-lapse, I guess. 
Uh, I am very excited to have this parts washer over here. Today was the perfect day for it because we've got some parts to wash. Yes. It takes like 30 minutes to heat this thing back up though. Uh, it was unplugged for quite a while. This is a bio parts washer. It doesn't use uh, solvent. So it's non-hazardous, non-flammable, non-corrosive, non-polluting and it has like mats that act as filters we showed it on the channel like once before super cool you change the mat every week it's like a tear off for your motorcycle helmet oh every 30 no you change the whole thing every 30 days every week you do the tear off yeah if you're using it that much you know so the bottom mat has the microbes in it that like reactivate the cleaning solution it's really cool so Honestly, it's like super easy to dispose of. It's super safe. I don't know, I just like it. The only thing is it has to be at 80 degrees or something all the time, so it has a heater in it. So the downside is paying for electricity to keep the fluid hot. I don't know what it costs. Hopefully not much. <laughs> That's why I left it plugged into my dad's shop, obviously. No. <laughs> Life hack number one. Life hack one, give, you, give the parts washer to your dad. Hey, that's a wild looking fan there. Yeah the only fan around here. Anyway, uh, we've got our engine from J&J &J hooked up here. We're gonna spin it over one time here just to make sure everything's good before we made up the transmission. So we've got our ignition switch there, a super start. That's, that's an O'Reilly's ignition switch. Um, should we put a hand on it or something? Or we're just gonna send it. I was trying to stay far away from it. I also wanna be far away from it. Yeah. Why are we doing this? Uh, to make sure that our flywheel's not jacked up. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, but like, why are we doing we're both like, let's get out of here. Oh, uh, that's just standard procedure. Standard you procedure. You're doing. You, you want to put a hand on it? That way I can jump if I have to? I know, huh? All right. We're stiff arm it, so it pushes me backwards if it falls over. Okay. Hey, we got a bad starter. That's fun. Well, I don't think we do. I think it's because I'm not triggering. Oh, uh, the Bendix? Yeah, I can't do the Bendix the way the. <laughs> you got thing a jumper works. wire? Um. Yeah, we could jump in there. I've got some 12 gauge wire. Try number 58. Uh, I, it's actually not turning over fast enough to see if the ring's bent. I'm going with it's perfect. Okay. It looks really good to me. All right. Cool. Sounds really good too. Holy compression. <laughs> yeah, for a, for a supercharged engine. Right? It's, it's up there. there is no way I'm going to remember how uh, all the electrical goes into this car. Did that O2 go there? You know, I have no clue. I think I plugged the wrong O2 in there. That... Oh, do those connect right there? Oh, well, shoot. You're good. You nailed it. But I think... No, those, one's a six pin, one's a four pin flat. They can only go that way. Why does that O2 have six pins? This oh, it probably is a wide band. Holy crap, Audi! If they're five or more, they are wide bands. Man, ridiculous. Anyway, as you guys can see, we've got the new engine dressed. It's all back together. We are ready to stab it in the car. So, this took a, a lot of work actually, <laughs> but there were a few little issues that we ended up moving parts over from the other engine that we weren't expecting, and of course, we <laughs> degreased the cradle. It's all pretty, you can touch it now from all the oil that was on the old engine. Uh, we cleaned just tons of this stuff in the parts washer. Look at that pretty alternator. We brushed off the outside of that bad boy. This vacuum pump's not leaking. We're good to go there. I mean, this is a heck of an upgrade. These exhaust shields were cleaned up. The mounts were all cleaned up. Maybe we wasted a lot of time, but it is pretty. Yeah. And that's what matters, sorry. Of course. I mean, <laughs> everyone's going to be laying under your car, yeah. checking it out. Hey, man, did you clean your exhaust shields? <clears throat> you don't want to be driving through the drive through and have the drive through <laughs> lady be like, you've got the dirtiest pay <laughs> number I've seen all day. <laughs> Get out of this drive through yeah. You can't park your car here. No Chick-fil-A for you. It's the most embarrassing thing. <laughs> Back to the time lapse. Everybody wanted to know if we had pulled the spark plugs to see if this thing's hydrolocked yesterday. The spark plugs had actually been pulled by my buddy uh, way before it came here and they tried to turn it by hand and just found that it was seized. So whatever was holding this 
like it must have been back pressure on the exhaust or something where they drove it until the bearings like seized too because it was all we could do to turn this thing with uh the longest pry bar today just to get those converter bolts out so that took forever and now let's take a look underneath the car we made a massive amount of progress the exhaust is in we threw all the braces in the smart washer and clean them. I don't know why Audi makes chassis braces out of billet aluminum, but they're beautiful. Uh, the exhaust is all back together. It's beautiful. And all the suspensions back together. Well, you see, we cleaned all the little chassis braces for the uh, subframe there. Those are really good looking too. Uh, we did a lot of cleaning and I'm just loving how the underside of the car works. All the electricals all hooked up. Transmission lines just need tightened down. I better do that now while I'm thinking about it and uh, coolant lines are back on, a bunch of them are, but I still need to hook up the AC compressor and the power steering pump. Not only that, but I have to wire the car, so we're calling it a night. Uh, it took a lot of time to do this, and uh, it'll probably take me another few hours to get everything wired back up, buttoned up, so I figure I'll take my time and not try to rush it at two, three in the morning, whatever it is now. So, a few more things to do, but hey, the engine's back in, huge thank you to the car ninja for letting us borrow his uh, engine table. Huge shout out to Josh, the Fractured Rooster Garage. I'll throw a link in the description below again. Uh, tomorrow, we're working on one of his cars all day, so don't expect to see this tomorrow or the next day or the next day. Uh, we got a lot of work to do on uh, the Bronco. And I know everybody loves the Bronco, so we're gonna do it. Don't forget to head on over to shop, watchjrgo.com for cool shirts, not like this. And please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you wanna do. And I'll talk to you next time. Man, it's really, you went in here. <laughs> you think it's coming out of the concrete? It, it probably is because it's like the first time in a while we haven't been just pouring rain all day. <sighs> can't wait for it to cool off. Ugh! And I can't wait for the couches to go in the balcony. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> for the relaxation. The fireman's pole. The fireman's pole. Foam. I just want a foam bit. <laughs> One Audi A6.